for the takedown. Once you get on top, control her. Use your weight and pin her to the mat. Yes, yes, nice combination. Now press forward. Focus, focus. She's got nothing against your takedowns. Here we go. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Good, good. Moving on to the next one. You got 30. Let's go. I love those strikes. I love those strikes. Nice combination there. Now we know what we need to work on, right? Let's go. BJJ is the gentle art, because you don't need aggression to win against a larger opponent. You need patience and leverage. Let's roll. Nice combination. Press forward. Press forward. Keep those combos coming. Remember, repetition is key. 
and it always pays off. So let's go. Come on now, you got 30. Okay, okay, good combination work. All right, let's push the pace on her. Saw some nice work today. Right, some sweet science. Let's go. Beautiful combo. Keep at it. Drill, drill, drill. Why? Because repetition is the mother of all skill. That's why. Let's go. seconds. Let's go. More of that. Great job in there. I can already see some improvement in your punches. Okay, time to work. Let's go. All 
All right, at least we now know what we have to work on, right? Good job. Hard work. A lot of technique and more hard work. That's what wrestling is about. You ready to work? Let's go. Hey, no excuses today. It was a bad day, but don't worry about it. Beautiful combination. Yes, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. That's what I'm talking about. Timing and anticipation. Beautiful combination. Uh-huh, keep it up. Put the pressure on her. Put the pressure on her. Let's go. Come on now, you got 30. Oh, that combo was tight. Come on. Don't worry about today. There's always tomorrow. That low life you could have came with, but we know you chose. All right, some sweet science. Let's go. Nice, 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 nice punch. Yes, she felt that one, right? Okay. Great. Hey, great. Great boxing damage. Okay? Good job. Big punch. Yes, 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 yes. What a bruise. Let's go, baby. Let's go. You're following directions perfectly. Great job. Pushing. Come on now, 20 seconds. Excellent job today. Better than lap.
out here with me too long been on this mission i'm home i'm home All right, coming up next, it's a UFC women's bantamweight division matchup. Well, she's one of the more well-rounded fighters, DC, that we have in this division. A true mixed martial artist. Her first martial art was MMA. That certainly helps. Yes, she's a new breed of fighter. A fighter that, as a young girl, she was brought into a gym, and in that gym, she told the coaches, I don't want to wrestle, I don't want to do jiu-jitsu, I don't want to kick box and box. I want to do it all. Right. Is there an MMA class for my daughter to take part in? She did that from day one, and you see all that development over the course of a lifetime has led her to the octagon, where she is already making her impact. Yeah, she said, I didn't want to get to the UFC until I was 100% comfortable in every situation. So far, so good for her. She's got a big one in front of her here tonight. Well, drillers make killers, and nobody works her takedowns harder than this young woman. She has become a force in this division, and even though the opposition oftentimes knows what's coming, no one's able to stop that shot. Nobody's able to stop that takedown attempt. No one's able to stop that single leg. She said in the fighter meetings, I have drilled that takedown. 5,000 times, Amazing. over and over, I hit a single leg. Every day of the week, I hit at least 30 single legs. I'm like, well, is wrestling practice every day? She goes, no, I just want to make sure that I have a skill that is so dominant that no matter how much you practice it, you are not practicing it enough to stop me from taking you down with it. It is truly crazy to watch her approach to getting that single leg off. And her ability to get her opponents off balance in a mixed martial arts setting as special as anybody in the sport right now. We'll see how it goes for her here tonight. All right, almost ready to go with this one. Here is tonight's tale of the tape. Four years apart with similar height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of four wins, two losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of New York, Vicious! And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, eight losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 134 pounds. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Round one is underway, and granted, last fight was a loss by decision, but it goes into the books as a loss. If she is ever going to contend for a UFC title, tonight is one she's got to have. All right, here we go, early round one. The expectation is that she's going to try to wrestle here tonight. Her opponent knows what's coming. Doesn't mean she can stop. I don't know if you can simulate this in the training room. Not many people have the ability to mix the striking in with the wrestling. A lot of times you get a wrestler to wrestle, a striker to strike. This young lady can do it all. That's why her takedowns are so successful. Oh, massive leg kick. How many more can she take? 
Now a knee. Look at the angle of that nice body kick. Oh, man, that looked like it hurt. Nice kick by her there. It absolutely did hurt. I can tell you that as a fact. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Oh, strong series of kicks by her there. It's almost like she throws her feet as if they're two more hands. I mean, that is crazy. Use every weapon available. What a beautiful kick out. There's that patented single. Nice hammer fist. Oh, that's a flush elbow from the bottom. Well played. Able to land the single ground strike there. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Beautiful body kick. Back in the clinch now. Right hand punch in the clinch. Oh, she blocked the kick there. Nicely done. She's starting to put together some significant body work here, and these are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice loop and punch. Big head kick! Oh, nice jab. Nice body kick. Big head kick. An uppercut later. Liver kick. What a body kick. Oh, oh, she scrambled eggs. I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Round two next. Hey, DC take us through the replay. Storyline in that round, certainly her kicking game. She knew that her opponent had more of a boxing stance, so the kicks would be available. She took full advantage of that over the course of that first round. All right, so here we go with our next round. Will the narrative be the same? In the previous round, it was all about her kicks, the power, the accuracy, really a sight to behold. I don't know why it would change. I don't think that her opponent has received the advice that she needs to make the necessary adjustments. She will go out there and start doing the same exact thing, which will in turn put her right back on the receiving end of those nasty kicks. DC, for my money, she's really timing her shots pretty well here tonight. Her timing. And she did not miss there. This could be the end, DC. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Oh! So she holds on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Oh, how did she get that knee to the head? Well done. Whoa! She rolled! And just like that, the fight is over! Oh, my goodness! <laughs> yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So big, big knockout win for her here tonight. And there she is after the huge knockout here tonight. What a moment for this fighter. You can't help but feel good for her here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 26 seconds of round number two. You're playing the winner by knockout, this time. Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her performer. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she could not have imagined that it would go this well. I know she said it would happen, but when it does, I mean, it's joy. It's joy like nothing you've ever felt before. You don't expect it.